Chicago Bears return home licking their paws after falling to one and two. They welcome another one and twoer, but the LA Rams are hardly feeling bad about themselves. Comeback complete. Rams win. Rams, losers by 31 points in week two, are down 10 to the 49ers in the middle of the fourth quarter in week three. Then John Belushi shows up on the sidelines and gives them the speech. The pass interference sets the Rams up in field goal range. Nothing is over till we say it's over. Chicago dealing with a team whose latest win is straight from a Hollywood script, not an NFL one. Makes sense being the Rams are from LA, I guess. Matthew Stafford comes in off a nice outing, 220 plus yards, healthy 8.8 yards per attempt, no interceptions, a TD, a rating over 100 without Puka Cooper. Somersaults in to the end zone. Rams O-line using the guy behind the guy. Some who are the guys behind the guy who's behind the guys. Did give up three sacks to the 49ers pass rush though. Now they get Montez Sweat. He played Aardvark last week, gobbled up Ant once. Trouble trying to keep the play alive. Montez Sweat. It is a loss of 11. That was Chicago's only sack on 20 Richardson throws, but their secondary handled their business. Picked off Richardson two times, no touchdowns, held him to a sub-40 rate. Richardson throwing intercepted. Stafford only went for 221 yards, five guys with 20 to 32 yards. Only one Ram pass catcher comes in off a noteworthy showing. 2-2 Atwell, 93 yards versus the 49ers. Looking for two Bears didn't give up any more than 45 yards to any Colts pass catcher. They did give up 110 yards to Jonathan Taylor on the ground, though. 4.8 per run, two TDs. And some sweet moves by JT. Rams counter with Kyron Williams. Two touchdowns versus San Francisco, 89 yards. Williams is in. Bears rush attack meantime. Still AWOL. DeAndre Swift, 20 yards on 1.5 per run. They ran 28 times. No one other than Caleb Williams averaged more than four a carry. He ran once for eight yards. So it's more about his arm. Bear down finally got to see some passing yards. 363 of them, two TDs. Looking deep for a Duce. He's got it. To the 30. There were still a lot of turnovers, low 80s rate on the back of two INTs. He still looked very rookie-like, but still, there were some flashes. Now he gets a Rams secondary that gave up three touchdowns to Brock Purdy, didn't pick him off. Rate tuned to 137.1. That's not good. You can't find it on the dial. Purdy throws on the move to the end zone. It's a touchdown. No one on the Rams could stop Juwan Jennings. 175 yards, three scores. Williams hooked up with Roma Dunze six times for 112 yards and both their first TDs in the NFL. Who gets, gets hit the ball? It's me. Give it to me. It's mine. Williams to DJ Moore produced 78 yards. A Hail Mary that didn't end up in the paint was a lot of that, though. Tight end Cole Komet comes off his best game so far, 97 yards and a score. To a wide open Komet for the touchdown. Can LA exploit Chicago's O line and Williams' tendency to try and pull miracles on scrambles? Four more sacks taken last week. In trouble and he is sacked. LA's Byron Young had their lone sack last week, has won in back-to-back -back games. 54, 39, and three, bears up all time against the Rams. They've been playing for a long time, used to be Midwest rivals. 1985 playoffs, championship game, LA almost made the Super Bowl with Dieter Brock at quarterback. Yeah, Bears won 24 to zero. Not many remember Dieter, lots remember the defense he faced.